The uh, tubular design is uh, commonly used for uh, membrane systems where a porous tube is uh, coated with the membrane material as we see in this uh, diagram. The uh, feed solution is then uh, pumped into the tube because of pressure it is uh, forced in the radial direction uh, through the membrane coating and then the porous pipe the uh, permeate or uh, water uh, depending on what type of membrane is being used will uh, drip from the outside surface while the retentate stream leaves from the other end of the tube. There are various uh, materials that are used uh, commonly uh, polymeric materials uh, for polymer membranes and ceramic uh, membranes are also used. We will uh, look at both these uh, examples of uh, these different materials. So uh, a tubular design that uses a polymeric membrane, uh, here is an example used in the dairy industry for ultrafiltration applications. In this case, a uh, module is a 18 by 2.5 millimeter perforated stainless steel tubes. These uh, tubes are assembled in a shell and tube arrangement. In other words, number of tubes inside a shell. The membrane tubes are fitted inside the uh, stainless steel hollow tubes. Uh, so that's how we have the uh, shell and tube arrangement. And the permeate is collected outside the hollow tubes in the shroud that surrounds the uh, tube arrangement. Let's look at the uh, tubular design with the uh, ceramic membranes. Uh, this example is again from dairy industry uh, to reduce uh, bacteria in milk, whey or brine. The filter is made of uh, ceramic material where the thin walls are made of fine grain ceramic and the sport material for those thin walls is made of coarse grained ceramic. When this arrangement is used for microfiltration to remove bacteria, skim milk is uh, fed into the tube. Most of the feed passes through as permeate, which will be bacteria free skim milk and the retentate will contain the bacteria. The filter elements are installed in this module in parallel. So again this is an example of how a ceramic membrane may be used in the uh, food industry.